Clinton for Tom McGinney. Eh? Trying to look pretty. No, just trying to look less like the family. Hmm. Pop. What's the matter now? Where's the leg of veal that was in the ice box? Oh, was, was there a leg of veal in there? Now, don't start acting innocent. What'd you do with it? Well, I... Well, Frank Martin, his wife... Well, she's kind of sick, and he ain't exactly got a job, so I sold it to him. Oh, Pop, for goodness sake. Oh, Mary, he, he'll pay us in a couple of days. His wife is sick. Well, and... I'm sick, too. I'm sick of you trying to feed everybody in the neighborhood free. Where's Ruth? She's upstairs if Pop hasn't given the flat away. Well, come on upstairs. I've got something great to tell you. Yeah? The idea just came to me one day when I was driving along. You mean Mr. Gibson is really going to make you Blake's assistant? He's already done it. But he didn't raise your salary. He sure did. Oh, Tom, I'm so proud of you. Oh, there's a catch in it somewhere. Are you stupid enough to think that this Gibson, this dirty capitalist, is really interested in your welfare? He's proven it. He's a fine man, and everyone who works for him loves him. And he loves all of you, too. Loves you because you're stupid and docile, because he can change your shred into money, because he can use you, exploit you, all for the few stinking pennies he pays you. Max, you're crazy. Working conditions are swell there. You trying to tell me about laundries? Listen, Junger. I used to be chief engineer of the biggest laundry in Cleveland. Long hours, short wages, steam, sweat, consumption, slavery. And you all love him. Sheep! When you get to be my age, you'll have a bomb in every pocket. He's getting awful red. <laughs> it won't be long before he puts a bomb in the coffee urn. Oh, forget that maniac. You did a great thing, Tom. I think we all ought to celebrate. Let's go out and get some chop suey. Oh, I'd love it. Oh, you kids go ahead. I haven't got a thing to wear. Oh, you have too. What's the matter with your blue crepe? I have to fix the ham. Well, go on, fix it. We'll wait. <laughs> all right, it'll just take a few minutes. Things have certainly changed for me in the last few months. I've got a good job. And a lot of good friends. Been awful lucky since I came here. This old town certainly looks different than it did. You were kind of lonesome at first, weren't you? I guess I was. And you're not anymore? Take me all night to finish this hem. You kids go on ahead. I'll see you when you get back. 